Dangerous viewers via Nursat and Tel Lumir. We shall begin with the significant headlines. Pope Francis, only love can overcome selfishness and keep this world going. The Latin Patriarchate established a center for religious education in the Holy Land. Dr. Samhan meets with a delegation of guides participating in the Catholic Conference in Lebanon. Welcome back. Pope Francis concluded his apostolic visit to Mongolia by inaugurating the House of Mercy, where he met with those involved in charitable work. His Holiness expressed his gratitude for the warm welcome he received during his several-day visit. He emphasized that volunteer work and free service that people willingly offer to those in need are essential. And he added, This is the method of service that Jesus taught us. As volunteering with generosity liberates the soul, heals the wounds of the heart, and brings us closer to God for the sake of loving others. The Supreme Pontiff concluded his speech by stating, The one who truly does good is a righteous heart determined to seek what is best for others. He clarified that commitment solely for the sake of reward is not genuine love, as only love can overcome selfishness and keep this world going. With the aim of arranging the status of lawyers affiliated with the practicing registry and ecclesiastical courts and correcting the status of lawyers and the mechanism for their affiliation and registration in the registry of accredited lawyers, His Beatitude Patriarch Pier Battista Pizzabella issued a temporary system for joining the registry of lawyers to take effect as of the 1st of this month of September to be implemented until a new system is issued. The temporary system considered lawyers who obtained a practicing license from his Beatitude the Patriarch and who pleaded before the Latin Patriarchate Court in Jerusalem and Nazareth as officially accredited and subject to the subsequent articles of the special system. A lawyer who passes the admission exam and obtains a license to practice by a patriarchal decree was also considered registered in the Registry of Practicing Lawyers. In another context, in response to the needs and requirements of the modern era, his Beatitude Patriarch Pizzabella initiated the establishment of a center for religious and spiritual education in the Holy Land. He entrusted the mission of running the center to the staff of the ecclesiastical institution in Bejala, with the participation of local and regional specialists. This center will serve as an educational hub to enhance the quality of Christian education in the region by providing free educational programs that foster a strong connection between priests, students at the ecclesiastical institution, and believers. The Religious Education Center in Bejala will also grant certificates to its participants upon the completion of each training course. It should be noted that the Latin Patriarchate, since its establishment in the Holy Land, has been a pioneer in providing Christian education for children and adults through its parish schools in Jordan and Palestine, through specialized education centers in the Holy Land. His Grace Bishop Christopher conducted a virtual meeting via Zoom with all the administrative bodies and the educational staff of the Patriarchate Schools in the presence of Mrs. Linim Danat, the General Director of the Schools. He began the meeting by requesting prayers for God's blessing on all the efforts for the advancement of the Patriarchate Schools. He emphasized the importance of development, change, and working as a unified team during the current academic year. He also acknowledged the significant educational responsibilities placed on the educational staff. His Excellency wished everyone a year filled with blessing, grace, health, and fruitful outcomes. Furthermore, he extended his blessing to the new administrative appointments for the directors and staff who have recently joined the schools of the Holy Patriarchate. Father Firas Masrawin, the priest of the Latin parish of St. Joseph in Amman, presided over the celebratory divine liturgy with the attendance of a delegation of believers from the parish. In his sermon during the liturgy, Father Nasrawin reflected on the first chapter of St. Paul's epistle to the Ephesians, in which St. Paul discussed the enlightenment of Lord Jesus Christ for the understanding of the believers. He explained the key pillars of Christianity, emphasizing the call to true faith. Father Nasrawin also highlighted the importance of listening to the voice of God that the Holy Gospel emphasized. Furthermore, Father Firas addressed the challenges of the divine calling, citing the example of the prophet Jeremiah who endured persecution and hardship for his faith. At the conclusion of the Divine Liturgy, the church choir presented a collection of spiritual hymns that enriched the entire divine service. The delegation of the General Committee of the Latin Scouts and Guides returned to Jordan after participating in the International Catholic Conference for Guides of the Middle East, which concluded its activities in Lebanon under the slogan, By their fruits ye shall know them. During the five-day conference, various challenges and obstacles facing their volunteer activities were discussed. 
Dr. Basima Samhan, the regional director of NURSAT Satellite Office in Jordan and Palestine, met with several leaders of the participating delegation to learn about the conference's topics, the issues the delegation discussed, and the outcomes they achieved from the conference. A training workshop on the new Christian education curriculum was held at the schools of the Holy Orthodox Patriarchate in Jerusalem. Mrs. Linim Danat, the general director of the schools, welcomed the participants in the workshop. She addressed them in the presence of several priests and Christian education teachers, emphasizing the significance of their spiritual and educational roles. The workshop's lectures were conducted by Art Mandrite Athanasius Khaqish, Father Elias Barakat, Mrs. Basima Dugan, and Mrs. Samar Tadros, who is the head of the guidance department. It should be noted that at the beginning of the new academic year, it was decided to implement the Christian curriculum in Christian schools in the kingdom. His Beatitude Cardinal Luis Rafael Sacco presided over the liturgy marking the first Sunday of the season of Elijah the Prophet. The liturgy took place in the chapel of the Seminary Institute in Ankawa in the Kurdistan region with the assistance of Bishop Habib Hermes and the presence of a delegation of worshippers. In his sermon, his beatitude stated, The season of Elijah invites us to prepare ourselves fittingly to join the sons and daughters of God through radical repentance and continuous daily guidance. He also highlighted the example of Zacchaeus the tax collector, illustrating the culture of apology and remorse for one's mistake. His beatitude expressed regret that this type of culture is not prevalent in our society today. Instead, stubbornness and justifying one's actions tend to be more common. Therefore, he emphasized the role of education and upbringing within families, churches, and communities in establishing a culture of apology and repentance. In response to the various interpretations and discussions surrounding the General Secondary Education Certificate Examination, Tawjihi, in the Kingdom, the Ministry of Education and Higher Education has affirmed that the Ministry will not cancel the Tawjihi exam, as it is a national examination. The Ministry clarified that what has occurred is the division of the examination over two years with the same existing specifications. Under this system, students will take the common subjects based on the weight of the subject in the first secondary grade, 11th grade. Meanwhile, specialized subjects will be examined in the secondary grade, 12th grade. The ministry further explained that students will not take examinations for the common subjects in the second secondary grade, and the specialized subject will be taught to the students in the first secondary grade without interruption. In a related context, last Sunday, approximately half a million students, both male and female, returned to their private schools across all governorates of the kingdom. The number of staff working in these schools is around 50,000 administrators and teachers, in addition to 130,000 teachers in public schools. Thus, the total number of students in public and private schools in Jordan reached around 2,250,000 students. Moreover, the General Secretariat of Christian Educational Institutions opened the new school year with a workshop for approximately 200 teachers to train them on implementing the Christian curriculum that was approved this year in Christian schools across the kingdom. Dear viewers, we have reached the end of our broadcast. Before we conclude, here's a recap of the highlights covered herein. Pope Francis, only love can overcome selfishness and keep this world going. The Latin Patriarchate establishes a center for religious education in the Holy Land. Dr. Sam'an meets with the delegation of guides participating in the Catholic Conference in Lebanon. For more information, please visit our website, nursatjo.org. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a good day, and until we meet again.